I'm going to be doing a holiday look today and it's going to be mainly geared for your eyes but it is going to be your my entire face you guys are going to see so you'll see all the products that I've been using lately and this also is going to have a little bit of a, a nice coral color to it so I'm going to go away from my browns and my gold that I usually wear during all my videos so let's get started. And this is my foundation I've been using. It's the Clean Finish from Romo London. It's supposed to be leave your skin 100% poreless. The applicator is a really strange. It's more like a spatula and the formula is also really thick. So I just scraped the formula and put it all over my face. Now I'm going to be using my Real Technique buffing brush and I'm going to blend all the weird patterns I put on my face together and make sure it gets all over my skin. And if it does look a little bit light, it's okay. It does change after um, it's been blended. And so I'm still blending, so it's, it does take some work. Now I'm going to clean my hands because I'm about to use my hands to help blend the foundation a little bit better. Since the formula for the foundation is so thick, it does leave lines on my face. And so I just minimize those lines and make sure it my skin just looks flawless and yeah so here I am still rubbing my face <laughs> now it's concealer time and this is a smooth operator from Tarte Cosmetics it's Amazonian clay and it's waterproof I absolutely love this I recommend this to anybody it's great coverage lasts all day I love it especially for my under eyes because it does hide the dark circles that I do get and I like to hide it um hide it, use it, sorry, around my nose to minimize the shape of my nose a little bit. And it's great for on acne spots because it doesn't dry cakey or anything, so it's not going to leave those lines that some concealers do. Now it's time for my powder that I absolutely love. It's my Stay Matte from Rimmel London, and I just love this powder. And that's an e.l.f. fluff brush, and I'm just going to swirl it around and put it all over my face. And if you guys watch the fact of the day, you found out that you should not rub your um, powder on because it disrupts the foundation, but more pat it on because it's going to help your foundation last all day. Now it's another Tarte product, and it is my Avenue Park Avenue Princess Bronzer that I have been loving. It's a great bronzer. It's light color. It doesn't make you look muddy or cakey or anything. Now I'm using my contouring brush from Real Technique, which, once again, I absolutely love. I love how round it is. And for those of you who are not comfortable with using bronzer or anything, um, just practice with it. At first, I was not comfortable contouring my face, but practice does make perfect, so keep working with it. It makes great defini de definition for your cheekbones. Next is blush time, and this is my Buxom Blush. And I don't remember the name of it right now. I think it's like Breathless or something. But it's a nice pink color, and this is my favorite blush brush ever. It's so cute from Tokidokio. And there I just blend it all together. Now I'm using my Tarte Creaseless um, Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to let that sit on, so I'm going to put some lip product on my lips because they feel a little bit dry. Next, we're going to be moving to my Tarte Palette from Baby It's Cold Outside. I mean, Baby It's Bold Outside, I'm sorry. And those are the three colors that I'm using, and I will list them down below. The first one's a nice copper color. You're going to put it all over your lids. And don't be um, afraid if it looks too bold, because that's the whole point of this palette. It's bold colors. Next, we're going to be using a coral color, and we're going to use that on the corner and crease of our eyes. And once again, if it looks crazy, it's all right. We will blend it out right after this. And so now that that is on, we're going to get our blending brush and we're just going to blend them all together. Now we're going to get our fingers and we're going to help blend it a little bit and minimize the color just a bit. Now we're getting this nice peachy color and we're going to put it on the inner corners of our eyes. And this makes your eyes look wide and awake. And then we're going to put it at the very top of our eyebrow and because it's going to help blend the color a little bit into so it's not just like skin color and then copper. Next is my favorite eyeliner, which is the Be A Bombshell, which I got from my glam bag. It's a liquid eyeliner, super easy to use. Next, we're going to curl my eyelashes with my favorite eyelash curler, which is also from Tarte Cosmetics. Now we're using the Mega Plush Volume Express uh, Mascara from Maybelline. At first, I did not like this mascara, but once I started working with it and using it better, I did decide to like it. It is weird because the gel formula. 
Next, I'm using a NYX matte lipstick and I'm just tapping it on because if you put a lot of this. All right, guys, that was the look. I hope you guys really like it. So it's really simple. I like it. You don't have to use Tarte Cosmetics as long as you know you have that nice copper color, you have that nice coral, and you have a nice light, but like not white, but like a peachish color, you'll do great. And my lips are really simple. They're just like a smack of pink in them because my eyes are really dramatic and they're just full of color and I love it so much. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials. I'm going to be doing one on my bun. I've been obsessed with buns and I have like have four ways, count them, four, four ways to show you guys how to do buns this holiday season. And I'm also going to be doing an outfit of the day. My very first one ever. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe if you like it and have a really good holiday season. And yeah, thanks guys. Bye.